Total Aflatoxins Immunofinity Column Operation Video Preparations Allow the Immunofinity Column reach to room temperature before use. Prepare the device, reagents and consumables, which are needed in the experiment. Sample per treatment. Weigh out 25 grams of the sample into an Erlenmeyer flask. The solid sample needs to be ground and passed through the 1 mm sample sieve. Then add 5 grams of sodium chloride. Measure 125 milliliters extracting buffer and transfer into the Erlenmeyer flask. Seal the flask tightly. Shake the sample solution vigorously on a rotary shaker for 20 minutes. Ensure full extraction. Filter with a qualitative filter paper and collect the filtrate. Pipe at 10 ml filtered liquid to 20 ml water for diluting. If the pH value of diluting buffer is between 6 to 8, the next step can be carried out. The pH value should be adjusted if the diluting buffer is acidic or alkaline. Use the microfiber filter paper for the second filtration. Collect the filtered liquid as the sample solution. Immunofinity column purify. Take out the immunofinity column. Attach the column to the syringe barrel. Finish the connection. Place the column on the pump stand to fix it. The pump stand can be used to adjust the flow rate. Pipe at 15 ml sample solution into the syringe. Please note that the volume of the sample solution is up to the sample type. Remove the cap under the column and connect the pump stand. Adjust the air pump switch to make the liquid flow out at the speed of 1 to 2 drops per second. If the liquid in the column can reach required dripping speed depends on its own gravity, the column can also be placed on the normal column rack. After the liquid is drained, wash twice with 10 ml dionized water. Gently blow with rubber suction bulb to ensure that the liquid drips smoothly. Then connect the pump stand. Adjust the switch to the flow rate of 2 to 3 drops per second. After the wash buffer is drained, use the rubber suction bulb to blow dry. Dry the column with qualitative filter paper. Load 1 ml of methanol at a flow rate of 1 drop per second. Collect the L-wit and top up the volume to 1 ml. Use the rubber suction bulb to blow dry the column. Filter the eluent through a 0.22 micrometers micropore filter, and then transfer it into a sample bottle to be used for HPLC analysis.